friends, it's Lael Konkar. Welcome. Welcome to our weekly Saturday Traveler's Notebook sessions. So today we have something a little bit different. I am not actually live. Now, if you are watching the replay, then it's the same that you always see. You're watching a replay. But in this case, we're all watching a replay because I am not able to do it live this weekend because I'm out of town. So I have a little pre-recorded session that I have put together for us today where we will, we will be doing two memory keeping uh, spreads in our Traveler's Notebooks. At least that's what I'll be doing. Now, one of the benefits of having our little kind of pre-recorded session is that I have a special guest who wandered in that wanted to say hello. Of course, little Sammy. Some of you have not seen him in a while and so, um, I always know when you love Sam because you'll be like, where's Sam? When is Sam coming back? Do we get to see Sam? Yes. Um, so Sam poked his head in for just a minute. So one of the things that's fun about having this pre-recorded is that I have set it up as a premiere, which means that you all can watch it at the same time live and the chat is still an option. So if you'd like to chit chat like you normally do, please chit chat. And I will do my best to see if I can't just hop in um, and maybe participate a little as you guys are watching. So uh, a couple of housekeeping items that I wanna get out of the way. If you don't currently subscribe to my channel, please subscribe. You can also hit the little bell and you'll be notified when uh, I have new videos. If you are new to all of this with me, uh, I have a business called Lail by Mail, and with that business, I do all kinds of things. Normally, I travel and teach all over the world. Um, I have not been traveling and teaching since March, uh, and I do project kits. So crafting project kits, scrapbook project kits, traveler's notebook project kits, um, all different kinds of project kits. I also sell a lot of the accessories that go with all those fun things. So as I am working, I always include links to what I am using in the description of the video down below. Some of those things I sell on my website, others I am just linking to you and where you can find them. So with that said, let's go ahead and flip the camera and um, I wanna show you a couple things and then we'll get started. So here we go. You remember the drill here, friends. Uh, you're going to get dizzy for a minute because I'm going to spin you. Wee, oopsie, there we go. You are spun, spin and spun. All right, now because we're not live, I don't have, uh, oh, we're looking pretty good. I don't have my iPad that I normally am watching so I can see what you guys are seeing. So I think that we are good though. Right, right. Okay, so what I wanted to start out with, I have a number of products that have recently come back into my website. So many of you asked about the Hey Pumpkin collection when I had, um, when I used it a couple of weeks ago for this spread. Uh, the pad is sold out and I, I think it's just getting a little bit too close there. Um, where I get them is sold out of them while well, they're out of stock right now. So I won't have them in again before Halloween, which means I probably won't be bringing them back in again. But what I do have, I do have the uh, stickers. So the Hey Pumpkin stickers. My gosh, they've decided to do some yard work uh, right outside my house right now. Of course, um, it's just like our regular Saturdays when all kinds of things are going on. But the Hey Pumpkin stickers, which are really fun uh, collection to use. The stickers are awesome. And then also, these are brand new. These are the ephemera pieces or the die cuts. So aren't those fun? I have linked to these in the description of the video. So all of the things that we're looking at. And I even have some samples that I've shown you where I've used those on some really fun tags. All right, next thing, the late afternoon stickers and die cuts are back in stock. I won't bring these in again. So if you had been looking for these, then um, now's the time to grab them. The stickers are fun. Actually, both the stickers and the die cuts have copper foil accents, which is really fun. And then there are the little die cuts. All right, along with that, and I will be using these little guys um, in my second spread, but the Days of Splendor floral ephemera pieces. These were super popular when I first brought them in, and um, these are great for your fall layouts. What's also nice is there's even some pieces in there that would work great for Christmas with the red, and then really just kind of everyday florals. All right, last thing. 
I have the Hey Santa. So if you're a fan of Hey Pumpkin, you will be a fan of Hey Santa as well. Uh, I've restocked both the die cuts and the stickers, but this is the Hey Santa 6x8 pad, brand new. Um, if you missed it, I actually used some of Hey Santa in the Holiday Traveler's Notebook kit. I've linked to that one as well. I think this is probably my favorite paper ever. I love that paper. Great to use whole or as little cut apart. So uh, just to give you a feel for the different patterns in that collection. 24 sheets each. Uh, then the die cuts. So look how fun. We have lots of, we have, I have lots of fun things that we'll be doing in December, probably some way into November as well, um, as it relates to Christmas and our listing and our memory keeping. And then those are the stickers. So I've linked to all of those things in the description of the video down below. All right, so um, a couple of weeks ago, I came up with an idea as I started my videos each week that we would take a look very quickly at how I finished up my spreads from the prior week. I had a couple of people say, hey, we would always love to see what you finished up because we don't have social media or we may not be on social media or we may miss uh, when you post. So we will start with that. The first one from last week was um, things I'm looking forward to this fall. Now, what was really funny, you guys, after I did this, I realized um, I didn't title my list. So, um, whoopsie, that's okay. I mean, I think I can get the idea. I have used the um, some printables from In a Creative Bubble, and I linked to those in last week's video. So if you're interested in those, buying those from Journal In, then you can, um, you'll find those. Uh, that is one of the printables, but this over here is one of the printables also. In this one, I printed on uh, clear acetate. Isn't that fun? Like a little transparency. So I love that. And then just did a little tip in with washi. Um, I use the number sticker tablet right here for that spread. And I think we pretty much saw most of that in class, except of course I add a little sticker. That's from the Marigold collection. And then this was the photo that I use. So this is kind of a little bit of a mix between memory keeping, right? And then listing my favorite things or the things I'm looking forward to this fall. For my second spread, um, that list was all about self-care. So different ways that I like to um, practice self-care. And I brought in all kinds of pieces from my friend Vicki Booten's Storyteller Collection. Uh, there are, it's, it's, it's been very hard to come by the collection and I have, think I have some of the stickers left and then one of the two die cut packs left. But, um, so just listing some of my favorite self-care, um, things that I like to practice. And then over here, I found a quote, um, one of the Terry's, I can't remember if it was Terry G or Terry L, uh, last week, I think it was one of the Terry's had suggested, Hey, it would be great. Um, on the left side, if you found a self-care quote, which is exactly what I did. And this is an awesome quote. I hadn't seen this before, but self-care is giving the world the best of you instead of what's left of you, right? And that just reminds us that self-care is important, not only for us, but it's also important that we do that for ourselves to benefit everyone around us. Because if we're not taking care of ourselves, then what's left of us sometimes is not necessarily ideal, right? Okay, so those were the um, two lists from last week. If you've missed last week's listing session or really any of the listing sessions, in the description of the video down below, I have included a link to the playlist where I um, have all of the videos kind of grouped together from our listing sessions. All right, so those are the two spreads that I did last week. And look at you guys, my, um, my insert is full from all of our lists that we've done starting in June and now all the way through October. So I need to do a video for that and do a clip through of all of those lists. All right, so as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, um, this, our topics for today are going to be memory keeping. So um, for a while there, I was alternating back and forth between one week listing, another week memory keeping. And I decided to kind of step away from that a little bit and do three list making sessions a month and then one memory keeping session. So this will be our memory keeping session. Well, I should say this will be our memory keeping specific section because a lot of times our lists also turn a little bit into memory keeping. 
Uh, later this month, so end of October, there is a virtual event in Brazil that I've had the wonderful opportunity to participate in. And as part of that event, event because it's virtual, I put together a class using some product that um, they designed specifically for the event. And I'm going to, uh, the, the name of the event is Scrap On. Now, um, I do not have a Portuguese accent, so I know that that sounds very odd if you are from that area and you hear me pronounce that because I'm pronouncing it the American way instead of the Portuguese way. Anyhow, um, I decided to, for my layout that I was doing for that event, I um, did the theme on friendship and I had printed out a couple of photos and I had some extras of the photos that I printed out and I thought, you know what? Um, I am going to use one of those photos for our first spread today. So today's spread is all about friendship, at least the first spread. And I have, she will look familiar to a number of you. There's our friend Vicki. Uh, Vicki and I have known each other, oh my gosh, I would say probably for about 15 years. And um, we see each other at least once a year. She lives on the east coast of Canada and I live in Utah, which is towards the west coast of the United States. Um, but we usually get to see each other at least once a year. And I will tell you guys, um, fun definitely ensues when we are together. So um, this was a couple of years ago when she was visiting me and we had gone to a local store here called Hip and Humble and um, they had these darling unicorn mugs. So we were goofing around. We actually both bought them, uh, but we were goofing around in the store and taking selfies and things. So I thought that would be a really fun photo to, um, to document. So I have pulled some papers from the Avenue 6x8 pad because I thought, ooh, these would kind of, this is black and white, definitely. So I'm kind of going with a little bit of that theme with some pops of color. So the 6x8 pad, uh, I have linked to the Avenue products that I offer on my website in the description of the video down below. So if you, um, if you like any of these products that you see, then you'll find links below. Um, all right, so it is going to be a two or a double page spread because um, I know I will need two pages. The photo will kind of take center stage on one page and then on the other page, I will do some embellishing and some journaling. All right, so let's grab, ooh, my paper trimmer is across the room. That's not very good. All right, there we go. So um, let's see, let's do this maybe on top of the trimmer for one sec. I over here, so probably need to figure out what I'm going to do on the left side first and then go to the, or excuse me, the right side and then go to the left. You're not seeing things in mirror image. My brain is thinking in mirror image. So I love the combination of these two papers together. I thought it might be kind of fun to do something like this over here. Uh, on this side. So on this side, we could go with, ooh, I like that. I like the way that is looking. Um, the butterfly. I like the butterfly too. And I think this one is just out because I love that black. I love the black kind of contrast there. And I think that will go really nicely with the black and white photo. Um, all right, I think what I'm going to do I'm going to use this piece because I have something in mind for what I will do over there. So let's go ahead and trim. The inserts that I use, these are standard wide inserts. They are 8.25 inches tall by five inches wide. And I love to use a six by eight pad for um, adding pattern paper to my traveler's notebooks because um, because of the fact that they're six by eight, they're like exactly as tall as I need them to be to have a little bit of a border. And then I just need to trim a little bit um, of the edge off. So uh, I think that we will do, let's try maybe 4.75 and see what we get. I can always take more off, right? But I can never, well, actually that's not true. I was going to say I could never add back on, but I could, you know, if I need. Um, all right, so I think that will be good, but then let's see what we're going to have over here. This is now going to be too wide for sure. So let's take this piece and I will make this two inches wide. 
that will make, ooh, I almost got my fingers there. That will make sure that I have plenty to go right there. And then I think this will be probably right there. So let's just kind of eyeball. I need, ooh, I think I'm, where's my pencil? Oh, there we go. Okay. Pencil on the other side. So I think if I go maybe right about there, I'll make that little mark into that pink flower and we'll see what we get. We will see what we get. Oh, there we go. Three and a half. That works. All righty. So the papers in this pad, I just had to double check, but they are single sided. All right. I think that's going to be lovely. Okay. I need my corner rounder. Forgot to grab that ahead of time. And when I say I need, I would like to have my corner rounder because um, I like having rounded corners, especially when I'm doing uh, memory keeping spreads like this, uh, because then they kind of blend right into the rounded corner of the um, of this. So those pieces will go there. Before I get my trimmer out of the way, um, this we will just do, I think we'll do, actually, might as well just get our little pencil in. No need to measure. We'll just cut where we think we would like to cut. I hate it when I do that. Just grabbed a little corner off there, but that's okay because I, um, I have plenty of room. All right, there we go. So then round these two, whoopsies, round these two corners. Like so. I have used this Avenue collection so much. It's just a great, um, I think it's a great all-purpose collection. It has, um, I've pulled some of the Icon ephemera that I'll be using. I have pulled a few pieces from the uh, titles ephemera, especially that happy. And then even the flowers ephemera. So this particular collection, the Avenues has three different ephemera packs, which you guys know me, die cuts. I love my die cuts. So um, love that I have three different options. So let's put this guy down first. So I can still ask you questions like I normally would, even though um, I'm recording this ahead of time. What is everybody doing today in this Saturday? Have any plans? Um, anything exciting planned? Well, exciting, as exciting as we can be these days anymore, right? Um, hi, hi, hi. Um, weather here in Utah, I won't be in Utah this weekend, but weather in Utah is supposed to definitely take a change this uh this weekend, I think starting on Sunday, like they're talking snow down in the valleys. Um, so that's, it's coming. It is coming. I am definitely not ready for it. I kind of joked last week in my, um, in my things I'm looking forward to this fall list, one of the items that was on there was the first snow. So although I do look forward to the first snow, that's it. Give me one snow, give me one nice, actually that's a lie. Give me one nice, beautiful blanket of snow in the fall, and then give me another one on Christmas Eve so that you wake up Christmas morning and it's beautiful. Other than that, I'm good. I don't need any more snow. I spent far too many years in um, our kids' sports, literally freezing, sitting on the sidelines. Um, and I kind of live in the wrong place for not being a huge fan of snow. Nick, my husband, loves, loves, loves to ski. Uh, so I don't foresee that we will ever really leave Utah. Um, but a girl can dream, right? Uh, we've talked about in the past that if we were all together, and that's what it is like for me, you guys, that um, when we're all together on a Saturday and we're crafting or listing or whatever it is that you're doing, it's like we're just a bunch of friends and my happy place would be Hawaii. It would be Maui. We would all be in Maui together. We'd be in a giant house, right? It would have to be giant for all of us. Um, but details, it's my like happy place. I can define what that is. Um, we'd have all the windows and doors open and there'd be a beautiful ocean breeze and we'd hear the waves crashing and we'd have someone to serve us and massage our feet and whatever we needed. We'd all be hanging out and we'd all be having a load of fun. Um, I don't even remember where I started on that little tangent. But it was a tangent, and that's what happens. 
So let's see, may, uh, no, I don't think so. I know I wanna use this happy though, I really like that. So I thought I would bring in one, uh, ooh, almost lost this. One of the la, ooh, no, 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 C colors. Nope, colors, maybe. We'll see if it, that one works. Maybe one of the colored library, library cards. So on my website, I have two different sets of library cards. One is a set of plain library cards, and the other one is a set of assorted colors library cards. So that yellow may work. I don't know. It may be a little bright for me. We'll see. Yeah, I can already tell. It's the yellow. I mean, it's the white. It's the white. As much as I think that I would love to pull in a little bit of color, I can tell it's not going to happen. Uh, so as part of the phrases, that's what those are called, the phrase uh, die cuts from the Avenue collection. I pulled this little guy out because I thought, well, either love this or memories and love this could be kind of fun. Isn't that fun? They're perforated. Could go right here. Maybe. I don't know. It's actually bigger than I want it to be. Um, I would rather that it not span the entire piece. So I think that is going to go off to the side. Maybe this one. Nope, that's the same size. So we'll keep looking and what else we have, but I think that one is now, sorry, you're out, you're out of here. Um, all right, so this is one of the pages that is from that six by eight pad. And there were a couple of these little things that I thought I might be able to use. Hello, friend. Um, oh, happy day. Uh, great. You no, know, for a friend like no other, that could work. That could be really cute. So what's kind of fun about these, these, if you kind of read them, are all geared a little bit more towards like making a greeting card or a tag, right? You've earned this. Let's celebrate. Hooray. But I am going to use them on my little spread here. Uh, just grab my mini trimmer. This will be a lot easier if I have my little mini trimmer out. So let's trim out a couple of these little tags. So we're back to what are you doing today? What um, are you doing this weekend? Plans? Anything fun? And that's assuming that you're watching live. Well, live. You're watching the premiere live and you're answering. Uh, because you can still answer, because it's just like I'm here. If I didn't tell you guys that I wasn't live, you wouldn't even know. you just think that I'm here on Saturday with you. But I'm here in spirit. And maybe I will be able to um, hop on in real life and join in the chat. That's the fun thing, actually. And you know what's interesting? The very first, if we rewind in our heads, not in the video. Well, I guess you could in the video. But if we rewind all the way back to the um, first video that I did, uh, Traveler's Notebook video for coronavirus, that was um, in March. And that very first one was a premiere video. And we all watched it together live, which I loved because I could chit chat with you guys in the chat. And I always miss, I always feel like I miss the chat. So if I can hop in for the chat, I definitely will. Uh, Halloween is coming up too, right? Halloween, but again, totally different Halloween than I think we've ever experienced before. What's kind of fun though, you guys, next Saturday, uh, the 31st, Halloween, it's on a Saturday. So our listing session will be um, on Halloween, which is cool. So I've got some fun lists planned. Um, I will probably do um, one, probably two that are Halloween related and then one non -ha -ha blah, 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 blah. one non Halloween related. Um, so that way, if you don't necessarily do Halloween, then um, you can still participate. We can also talk ideas on, um, if you don't do Halloween, ideas on what um, you could do for those lists um, instead. What are you doing, Sam? Okay, um, I, I just, okay, thank you. I'm just charging my phone while I'm making dinner. Okay. Do you hear that? I'm just charging my phone while I'm making dinner. Um, so, uh, surprise, surprise. Nick does happen to be golfing right now. And um, I've told you guys I don't cook. <laughs> so, Sam, lovely Sam, such a sweetheart. He is, um, I think he's grilling hamburgers for us or something. 
He's a good one. He's a keeper. Nick's a keeper. Sam's a keeper. Jack's a keeper. Jack, our older son. All right, so let's see what we have here. Hello. Uh, no, you know what? As much as I always try to turn things at an angle, it just, I'm very much a straight, everything has to be lined up person. So, although maybe we'll do like this. I don't know. We'll see. Um, nope. I can already tell. Not going to work. Uh, just, you guys know, I'm just chatting out loud with myself. Um, oh, I have an idea. Maybe. Oh, yes. Okay. Love the butterfly. So what I am going to do, I need a ruler. Um, I am going to trim a piece of this butterfly paper to fit right on there. But I want it, there'll be a little bit of a border. So I think if we go about three and a quarter by about three and a half. So... Three and a quarter. Oh, I need to be three and a half tall. Yep, almost messed that up. Three and a half by three and a quarter wide. All right. And I'll save those little pieces for something else. For a rainy day. Oh, yes, I like that. All right, so now... We'll just adhere that to the front of the pocket. So the pocket can, obviously, I've used the pockets all the time. Sometimes they're plain. Sometimes I write a title on them. Uh, sometimes I decorate them. The nice thing about them, they're self-adhesive. So it's just actually one big sticker. So as soon as I'm ready, I will adhere the one big sticker. But I'm not quite sure yet. I really like this happy. The happy might, I don't know. No, see, it's too wide. I won't use that because it's too wide compared to that. So I don't know, happy may not work. We'll see, I might not be very happy because happy won't work. Yep, happy is not going to work either. Just didn't really like the way that was feeling. Uh, so I pulled out a couple of the butterflies. The butterflies are from the regular pack of, oh, I don't know what I did with the package. Um, they're the regular die cuts. So there's three die cuts from the Avenue collection. There is a, um, the phrases, there are the uh, flowers, and then there's the other one, whatever the other one is. So these, I don't know, we might use something with them. But what I really want to do is pull out the flowers. Let's see what we have. I didn't even open these yet. Let's see what we have to work with in the flowers. Thank you, sweetie. All righty. Flowers and more flowers. Tons of flowers in here. Uh, let's see. There are 50. And there's like small, little, small, mediums, and larges. So let's see what we have. Um, pull out some of these colors. This could work. Oh, I love this one with the darker. That could work. Ooh, this is kind of fun, that little sprig. This is a great one too, but, oh, I don't know, maybe. I love that there's small, medium, and large. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at those, I love those colors. Okay, so that's what, oh my gosh. Okay, because literally, I have never opened the pack of flowers before. Oh, heavens. <laughs> I'm going to have a time of this, aren't I, of deciding what I want to use. Okay, so let's see. And I love that there are the three sizes because I can use larger one, See, maybe we layer a little bit. And this, you guys, is this is how the process works for me. 
Literally, I just move some things around, move some more things around, move some things around until things look good from my perspective, right? Because really my perspective in this case is the only one that matters because it's my project, right? So as long as I think it looks good, then it's good. Oh, we forgot scatter. As long as I think it looks good, then it's good. Now this is kind of bothering me how this was just kind of blunt. So I'm going to go in and kind of trim this up. This little thing that I just pulled in, um, the event, the Brazilian event I was talking about um, earlier in the video, uh, I had a, um, a Zoom interview for the event today with the lady that's putting on the event. And um, the box that she sent me of the product to work with for my class, because it was all um, product exclusive that they had created for the event. Um, but it had tons of stuff in it. This, uh, is, um, isn't this amazing? This is a leather, um, hand sewn with a liner. And this is like a great thing to sit on your desk. Anyhow, um, it is the woman who's doing the event. Her name is, um, I'm not sure I'm mispronouncing it, Lari Batista, but it's so fun because her father works in leather. And so he actually poked his head in during the interview and said hello, which I thought was so fun. Um, but I love that little, that little thing. Um, so now I'm using that for my little garbage. Uh, oh, is that the same? No, it's not. It's not the same thing. Just, I don't know if that guy's the right one, though. Just not quite sure. Oh, maybe that one. Now, what's funny is normally if we were all together right now, you guys would be like, oh, yeah, that one. No, that one. No, use this one instead. And then if I'm paying attention, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's a great idea. I'll do that. But now I don't have you. Okay, maybe something like that. Yes, I'm just going to do it. We're just going to commit, right? Commit. Sometimes we can fuss around for so long and it's like, oh heavens, come on, Lyle. Just get, get on with it. And I know I'm not alone when it comes to that, right? I know I'm not alone. I know that um, we all tend to do that sometimes. We just fuss and fuss and fuss. And it's just not, why can't I get that off? Oh, there we go. All right, we fuss and fuss and fuss. And then a lot of times we start with something and then we fuss and fuss and fuss and then we end up with what we started with, right? Sometimes we have to trust our initial instinct. If we liked it, just try. And then we thought, oh, maybe we should just, you know, keep looking around and see if we find something that we like better. Sometimes we go back. So I um, have left a couple of those pieces that are, um, hanging off the edge. I will go back in and trim those off. Um, now, oh, oh, this is a good one. Now I do not remember what, which one I had. Oh, I think it was maybe this one. No. Nope. Well, I just need to figure out which one I like then. If I don't remember which one I had, I just need to figure out which one I like. That'll work. Okay. So now I will come in to the back side and trim off these little guys. Like so. And like so. So we'll probably have fewer squirrel moments, you guys, since I'm not getting distracted. Um, based on what you're talking about and what you're doing, which is kind of fun. Um, I don't mean kind of fun that I'm not getting distracted, but I mean kind of fun that I'm not. Um, oh, I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> surprise, surprise. No, I wanted the butterfly down here. Now I remember. I'm actually just, look, appears as if I'm totally loading up this corner down below, doesn't it? There we go. Butterfly, lots of butterflies. All right. So then, what am I going to do over here? Because I need some more things over here. Um, ooh. Do we like that?
maybe over here. You notice how, oh, I don't know. Um, I'm still able to tuck things in because I didn't put adhesive everywhere. And I did that on purpose because I knew um, as I get things placed that I might want to tuck in a few of the smaller pieces. And I think that, maybe, looks like I have a big thing on my head. That's funny. Um, dee, dee, dee. Vicki and I had a nice long conversation today, which is good. Um, we both lead kind of parallel lives, but in different countries and in different parts of the world. Um, we both, you know, basically, well, I don't design product, but really that's the only difference. Um, we both have our own businesses and we both travel and teach normally. And, oh yeah, that's a good one. And we are just kind of, you know, both of our businesses have been growing extremely like wildfire, like weeds. Well, no, not weeds. I don't want to say weeds because weeds sounds bad. Um, have been growing. And so a lot of times we get together and just talk about some growing pains that we have. Um, we love it, but it's, you know, yeah. So because we both, um, you know, have similar businesses, it, um, it's nice to have somebody to talk to and commiserate with sometimes and celebrate with some other times and bounce ideas off of and things like that. So that's, I really enjoy that. I love my friendship with her. She is the real deal. The real deal. Yikes. Yeah, that's not happening. Maybe just one little flower up here. Maybe we just have one. Now it is really heavy over here and not heavy at all over here. So what if we took another one of our little butterflies and kind of tucked it in that way? Hmm. You know, it is just not, it's something's just not, maybe that, if that, a little bit off the side. Something's just not jiving. Oh, that'll work. I'll make that work. Okay, so now I'm going to come in. Those are really fun how they're perforated, but then I think when you separate them, so that's another one. There's a gold foil and then there's just the black and white one like I'm using, but that um, they initially come hooked together and then um, you can uh, separate them because they're perforated. Well, you could always separate them because you could just cut them, but it's kind of fun the way they are that way. All right, so if we get that cut, get those little edges cut, even though some of those you won't see, but this, All right, you know what I'm going to do? I, like, I definitely want to have the butterflies, but now that I have um, this, this is too big. So if I put this kind of over here in the corner, I think it will work. And then I might be able to work this in a little bit better. Such a cute picture you want to take Isn't that fun, Sydney? Um, the burgers are in the fridge oh. on a plate and this one's in the room. Okay. Okay, sweetie. Love you, bye-bye. Love you, bye. Really? <laughs> he's like really he's, he wants a hug of course I will take a hug any day oh careful sweetie all right so now those of you that have been watching all along since all the way back to March this is probably very reminiscent of those days when Sam was in here with me the whole time and we'd be um sometimes talking back and forth sometimes bickering back and forth because he would be trying to tell me how things should be, right? Love him, but that's kids, right? That's kids for you. Uh, okay, there we go. And then maybe that one. Okay, then if I do that, maybe we just need, maybe this one goes up here, let's see. It's an awfully large leaf for, yeah, a little bit too large, I think. Let's see if we have a smaller leaf. That might work. So lots of, uh, lots of, lots and lots of greenery, which is kind of fun when you need just a little something, something to add to it. 
And the pieces in this are huge, which is good. That's not a bad thing. All right. I'm thinking maybe one of these. So if we just come in. Oh, I don't want those. Um, if we just come in with our scissors, we can get anything we need by cutting with our little scissors. Fussy cutting. I love to fussy cut. I think it's very relaxing. All right, I feel like I need just maybe one more little flower up there. So let's see, where'd my little stack go? Now I've mixed up all the stacks. The littles, the little pieces. Dee, dee, dee. Let's see, is this one? I really need a little piece that's, ah, so interesting. The little pieces all appear to be pink. And I don't think that I want a pink and a pink because that will kind of get lost a little bit. So yeah, I think what we'll come back and do is not use the pink there and look for another color like maybe this guy. Oh, here we go. That would work, right? That might work. So that was there. And then we took one of our, this little guy and somehow we're just making a cluster, right? I'm making a cluster. We'll see what we end up with. Um, generally, when it comes to clusters, um, I like to do odd numbers. So I can tell already, that's why that one looks a little odd right now because there are only four pieces, there are even numbers. That means I need to come back in with, over here maybe, no. Oh. Uh, where did that little piece go that I was just cutting the little greenery from? Where did it go? This is when I need one of you to be here because you're like, it's right there, Lael, Lael, in the, you're typing in the chat. Lael, it's right there, oh, here it is. Um, and then uh, when I'm not paying attention, you get louder. And when I say you get louder, oh, oh noise. Um, construction noise, it happens every, all day, every day. So lest you think if this is, really to make you feel like it is a Saturday, because a lot of times that's what we hear on Saturday. Okay. Uh, now I don't even know what I was talking about before that happened. Oh, I know, when I said you get really loud, because you're like, Lail, and you get loud. I know you get loud because you are um, typing in all caps, hoping that I think I will see it. All right, I think we're pretty close there. Yes. So see how I worked with that and kind of just had to keep working with it until I found um, what I felt like it needed. And there it is. So I will try to keep those pieces kind of in place as I do this. Ooh, there we go. Let's put that one on top because I love that. The colors in that are just so pretty. Uh, last Saturday, well, and actually last Saturday was Friday night because I um, had to, um, I was teaching virtually all day Saturday and all day Sunday for a store. Um, sometimes we talked about, sometimes you just have to walk away, right? So sometimes if you're working on something and it's just not, you're just struggling and it is not, it is just not working. Um, that's kind of what happened last uh, Friday night and I was tired. It had just been a long day, I was tired. And so um, that's when I just said, okay, we're done, I'm done. I need to walk away from what I'm working on right now because I just was starting to get a little bit frustrated. Um, but I wanna tell you something. There we go, that works. So I did that with, um, where did that go? Where's the Traveler's Notebook that I just had that we were looking at the examples. Oh, uh, right here, yes. Um, that was with this spread right here. And so I had this all done and I ended up moving the self care and I had that piece in the background. I had kind of laid out these pieces thinking I might use them and then I just had to walk away. You guys today, when I sit down to finish this, literally five minutes. It took me five minutes to do all of that. And it all just came together. Sometimes you have to walk away. If you're starting to get so frustrated, you're like, this isn't working, I don't wanna start over. 
just walk away. Put it aside. If you have something else that you want to work on, work on it. But don't be afraid to walk away. Sometimes just having different perspective and looking at it from a different day, it just does wonders. And it definitely did for me there. Definitely did wonders. So um, of just, you know, walking away. Then it was easy peasy. It was easy peasy to come in and finish that little guy up. All right, so, oh my heavens, I, could you hear that? Samuel P., what? I, I hope you guys couldn't hear that. I am in my bedroom. I know, I could hear you, sweetie. We're, you guys, we're like throwing back. We are throwing it back to the early days of COVID where, um, yeah, that's good. I like that there. Beautiful. So now I am going to, I need a word strip sticker, something to go right there. So let's grab our uh, word strip stickers. From my container. Um, so I know I don't want a snarky. Ooh, I know what might work. Okay, so I have, this is the container that I use to corral all of my word strip stickers. Well, most of them. Um, I have linked to this little storage unit in the description of the video. I use this for my, um, I use it for my, I have one for my six by eight pads and then also one for my uh, word strip stickers. So these are the clippings. And what's fun about the clippings, you guys, is these are like clippings from words and phrases in a book. So um, it's kind of, I kind of like it because the colors kind of blend together. Um, wide awake girls. Yes, we, we definitely were. There seemed no more to say. Um, friendship. Ooh. Okay. So here, friendship. This one could work maybe somewhere over here. We'll see. I'm just going to like, just barely set it there for right now. Um, let's see, to let go with the heart, the air is full of sunlight. This is kind of neat too. Um, these, there are like page numbers. So, oh, let me grab this. See how that's like a little page number? So you can have like a little page number, or just put something in here like this. I mean, that doesn't mean anything. It just, just gives it a little bit of a um, place for your eye to draw down there. Um, the air is the happiest moment to be cheerful and optimistic. Um, oh, they're so good. Demanding something different. 256 and a half. I like that. Um, just the secret of everyday things. She was herself again. Actually, that, um, I think that actually could kind of work. Um, isn't it nice when you have a friend, um, that really, can you're just yourself with, right? Um, there's nothing that you are, um, nothing that you are hiding. Um, you can tell that person anything. You can totally be yourself. Um, yeah. What I'm going to do, this is sticking a little far out of the pocket for me. So I'm actually going to come in. I'm just going to trim it down. I'm going to trim the bottom off a little bit. So it's spaced a little better. I will, um, after the fact, after um, we're done, I will come in and um, do some journaling on that about our friendship. There we go. She was herself again. Okay. So then, um, I need something. I might make a little tab. So remember when I was trying this, and I said, ooh, this didn't really work. Um, but I might just make a little tab like that, similar, but I will make a tab out of two flowers. So I'm gonna move this for a sec. I'm not sure where that may end up. Then if I put a little bit of adhesive on the back of this flower, a little bit more, and adhere that right there like so, and then turn it over and another little flower on the back side. Now I have a little, um, kind of 
have a little tab. Oh, I know what this is wrong too. Not wrong, but what I need to add just because my, I need a little bit of outline, right? Always the outline. Nine times out of 10, that is what fixes it. And I think that's probably also what I need to do. Um, on this guy. Totally, I can totally tell already. That is what, I know, I knew something was missing. You guys probably knew it was missing too because some of you are like, Lail, do the outline, you forgot the outline, right? Doesn't that just make all the difference in the world? Um, okay, so now you know what I'm going to do. We'll see what happens here. I don't know if this will work at all because this may not pull off. Ay, no. All right, well, it's going to stay. I felt like this whole thing needed to come up more because it's a little bit low, but that's all right. Um, it'll just be there. That'll be a good spot for it. I feel like I still need another something right there. There. Just was looking a little blank over there. Right? Just a little blank. So we've got that. Um, see, I don't want this to be like this is beautiful friendship, but I guess it could be. There we go. That works. All right. So um, I think you guys, I think that one's done. Other than I need to come in and I will do my journaling and I will date. Uh, I will date on my journaling. So I have plenty of room on the front and the back. Uh, I will probably add two dates to this. So the date, um, one of the dates that I will add will be today's date that I am documenting this. The other date, um, I, I may or may not. The other date, no, I will have to. The other date will be the day um, that we took this photo. All right, so there is our first memory keeping spread. I am going to um, take a quick break. I will clean all of this up and then um, I'll be back in a flash for our second spread. Okie dokie friends, I am back. So it's a little bit later in the day, got a little bit sidetracked, no surprise, um, but we are ready for our second spread. So a couple of weekends ago, I guess two weekends ago now, Nick and I, on a Sunday, hopped in the car fairly early. I think we probably left the house about 8.30 um, and decided that we were going to head out for a drive. And we had really no, um, no plans. We didn't know how long we were going to be gone. We figured that we wanted to be gone for a while because I needed to get out of Dodge. Um, I spend lots of time at home just because of my business and I really felt like I needed to get out. So we headed out and we had the most amazing drive. We were gone probably four hours and we saw just the most beautiful scenery in our state of Utah. So I thought for my second spread, I would document a little bit more about that. So we looked at earlier, I don't even know what I did with it now. We looked at earlier in, um, in our session today, the, um, the tip in that I did with the transparency where I printed on the transparency and the photo from that was also from that drive. So I have printed out this photo. Uh, a lot of you have asked how do I print larger photos like this? And I always use, it's kind of over here. You can't see it. Um, uh, my little Epson picture mate PM 400. And that is always, uh, my workhorse. That's, I print all of my photos on that because it's just such an amazing printer and it's a very affordable price. Um, but I, a lot of you have asked how I print larger photos on that. So I have included a link in the description of this video, of a video that Kathy Zilski did, where she kind of walks you through how to print larger photo like that using the PictureMate, um, Epson PictureMate PM400. Uh, I've also linked to the Epson PictureMate PM400. That is a mouthful. Um, in the description of the video as well. And we usually watch that every week. Uh, 
Then I come on and say, okay, friends, it's 229, it's 189. Um, it usually seems to hover around 200, 225. Every once in a while we've seen it drop. I think we've seen it once happen. Drop down to 220, or excuse me, 125. And that maybe happened early, early, early days of Corona. Anyhow, so I have printed out that photo. I um, Last week, I had pulled this paper out, I think. This came from Vicky's Storyteller 6x8 pad. And um, I love this collection so much. She did such an amazing job with it. But I love this rainbow. I love different rainbow designs. But I love this one in particular for fall because it's very muted, right? The colors are very, um, well, I guess it's not really muted. The colors are bright, but they are more fall oriented when it comes to a rainbow as opposed to summer oriented and really bright. So um, what my plan is, I will put the photo over here. And on this side, I will actually have my journaling block be over here. And I had a really fun idea using the uh, Pink Fresh Days of Splendor floral die cuts, the floral ephemera. So tons and tons and tons of different floral ephemera there. So I had a fun idea, I think, with that. That will work with this rainbow paper. Um, I have linked the ephemera, the, the floral ephemera, in the description of the video. Unfortunately, the um, Vicky's Storyteller 6x8 pads are sold out, and I think they're sold out everywhere until January, which good for Vicky, right? Congratulations, dear friend. Um, congratulations to Vicky. So um, let's go ahead, and I want to trim this down. Let's see if I can grab my little trimmer. I can probably trim down. Yep, with my smaller trimmer. So... Try not to cause too much of a disruption here. Um, I am eight, so probably eight is probably okay here. I'm just going to go ahead and trim off the product strip. So, oh, 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 duh, that's not gonna work, Lil. Silly, silly me. Some of you were like, uh, how's that gonna work? How is she gonna make that dinner? Well, you know, sometimes the brain doesn't quite work the way that it should. <laughs> All right, so that is eight, so that means we have a quarter inch taken off from my uh, standard wide, which is 8.25. So five is the width. So if I take a quarter off, but here's the thing, I don't think that that is going to be enough. And I'll show you what I mean. There's going to be a lot of color going on here, right? I mean, there's a lot. So actually, I think I will take off a little, just a tad bit more. I will go ahead and take off, I wanna take off a quarter inch from the height and a quarter inch from the width, but I don't want to have this be uneven. Actually though, you know what? I'm gonna make this work. I'm going to make it work because if I cut that off, then I'll, yeah, I'll only have half of the width for these pieces and I think that will bother me. Not half the width, but I'll have cut some off and I think that that may bother me. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it the way that it is. All right. Now we will come in. Oh, 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 I don't want these. I kind of had these a little bit set up and over here in terms of what my idea was. Uh, I need to round the corners. So we'll come in and round the upper and lower left hand corners. Upper and lower left, like so. And this I'm going to go ahead and adhere down because I'm going to need to do that uh, very quickly. Love that side too. The texture on that, isn't that great where a piece of paper can look like it has texture even though it's just a flat piece of paper, flat design. Okay, just such a fun rainbow. A different, right? Totally different type of rainbow than we're used to seeing. All right, this one, this guy I'm going to leave for a second. I will put, I have some ideas for what I want to do over here, but I don't know if I'll end up centering or having it be um, top justified. So let's make sure, just because we're a different setup than we normally do, but you guys can still see. Okay, so what I thought I would do along this side, I'm going to make a journaling block and I'm going to make my journaling block out of white cardstock. So, oh, that's funny. Um, in between videos, I'm turning around for a sec. I am actually packing to go on a trip <laughs> and um, I packed up the cardstock that I, uh, that I took out. 
So um, I did a video a couple of months ago now about how I prepare for um, taking my traveler's notebooks and different, um, different products to work on while I'm gone. Um, and I will link to that in the video if you are interested in watching that. Uh, let's see. So I think this one, actually, I'm going to use the stamp. So let's see how wide that is. That stamp is uh, two, three, one, two and a half. So if I did three and a half, let's see what happens if we make this three and a half wide. Let's just see here. Three and a half wide. I think that that will work. All right, so three and a half wide. This part I haven't really thought through. So I am going to actually leave this as long it is, as tall as it is right now. And let's see how this is going to work. You guys know these stamps. These are the listed stamps that my friend Andy made. I have these on pre-order right now. Uh, many of you got in on the first order. Right now they're available on my website again as a pre-order. And they are scheduled to come in hopefully end of October, maybe early November. Um, COVID is, as it does with many things, wreaking havoc with, with all kinds of things in our world. So um, I am, any, anyhow, they're available again on my website for pre-order. I wanted to use this stamp. I love this stamp. You guys know that. Uh, sometimes I use it for my lists, but other times it's just going to be actually a nice journaling block. So I am going to stamp. Ooh, let's put that away because I'll end up getting a mess all over myself with that. So let's do this. see how that works beautiful 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 nice crisp clean stamp I will uh, clean that up later so then I was going to so this is what I'm thinking I kind of I'm actually, no, I'm, I'm not thinking out loud, which I like to do with you guys. I like to think out loud so you can hear what I am, my, my thought process. Um, so, well, I'll just start this and we'll see what happens. Um, this, I'm going to stop it right here. So I'm going to just get down the floor and trim that really quickly. too short. They're way too long. Not short. All right. So there we have that. Uh, normally what I do is I come in with the stamp and we will make like a piece of paper. So it's almost like this clipboard is holding or the stamp is holding a piece of paper on a clipboard. And then generally I like to give it kind of a double line just to give it a little bit more uh, make it a little bit more substantial. All right. So now what I was thinking here, the thing that kind of bugs me right now, this, I'm just going to do this. We're going to see um, right now. It, Bugs me that the white part up here. So I'm just going to fussy cut it and we'll see what happens. Because here's the deal. If we don't like it, there's always more paper. Right? There's always more paper to stamp on. And that's one of the nice things about using a stamp sometimes as opposed to stickers. Especially if it's something that you use quite a bit, the image, like this stamp, or this, um, yeah, this particular stamp for me. I love using this for my listing and journaling blocks. So, um, it's awesome to have it as a stamp because then I can just use it and use it and use it as opposed to having a sticker. Yes, I think this is definitely the way to go uh, where I am fussy cutting this with my little fussy cutting scissors. I've linked the fussy cutting scissors to my website below as well. I love, 
I fussy cut a lot of things. I just like this and that fussy cutting. What I'm doing here is basically I'm cutting something out of something else. Sometimes you can get really fussy when you're cutting. Other times that wasn't bad. That was not bad at all. Okay, there we go. I may, uh, we'll see. Just need to clean that up a little bit there at the top. My eyes are playing tricks on me. I keep seeing like these yellow spots in here. It's probably because I keep putting, gosh, well, come on. It's probably because I keep putting that down and then some of the yellow is like stuck in my eyeballs. All right, so let's see what that looks like. Um, okay, and I'm going to have to commit because the next step is going to make me commit. So we're going in, friends. We are doing it, right? I always say, you know what? I mean, sometimes you love what you do and sometimes you're like, oh, okay, well, that was fun. Don't know that I'd ever do that again, but that was fun. I have never um, used this stamp this way where I have actually cut it off. All right, so I want to be a little bit over. I'm not quite centered, right? You can see how um, there's less room here than there is over here. The reason for that. My plan is to take, when I started looking at this piece of paper and I knew that I wanted to use um, these, those floral um, flowers uh, die cuts from Days of Splendor, I thought, oh, okay. Do you guys see where I'm heading with this? So we have the rainbow here and you can kind of see how I took all those guys and I've lined them up kind of in that same rainbow. So this is my thought, that I would kind of be building the rainbow here along the side and the rainbow would be in all of kind of these pieces. Ooh, that's way too low because the purple would be there and I'll come in and cut some of that off because I don't want that greenery necessarily there. And then we'd come into the red and then I'd like a little bit more red here. So maybe we can just to kind of start placing some things. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what we get, but I thought this could kind of be fun. A different colored, a different kind of rainbow, right? Um, this would come up a little bit more to be in there with the red. Then I think this was next. And then this color still kind of fits in. Now we've lost some of that color right there, but that's okay because we can still see that color over on this side. I may have to back off a little bit on the, the colors that I am, the th the pieces here that I am including because I'd kind of like to still be see a little bit of that color coming through. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see what we get. Oh, I'm liking it, you guys. What do you think? I am liking it. And here's the thing, it's okay to say you like your own work and I'm not just saying that because I'm saying I like my own work so I'm pretending like, oh hey, you can say that because I want to say it. Absolutely, you can say you like your own work, you know? It's just like, you know, oh, I look nice today, or ooh, I um, like the way my hair looks today, or you know, what have you. You don't have to be worried about, um, you know, you should say that, you should say those things. That kind of goes there, because the blue goes there, but that kind of doesn't go there, that green kind of doesn't really work there. So if I put maybe this, it's that rusty color that's kind of off for me, right? That rusty color is a little bit off. You know what? It's good enough, right? It is good enough. All right. So now let's come in and I need to, now I need to commit, which sometimes is a little hard, right? I am committing to this design because I am now coming in and adhering. I know I'm a little tiny bit down here, I need to remember not to work down there because if I work down there, you can't really see what I'm doing. Actually, what I'm doing is I probably should be, let's try from the bottom maybe a little bit as I try to work all these things in and all their colors and where everything needs to go. Oh, I know that. I could make a little bit of that kind of hide, but I want a little bit more to the edge. And I'm just talking to myself, don't mind me. We've talked about that before. I talk to myself all the time. You guys are here with me, so I'm talking to myself. And even if you weren't with me, I would still be talking to myself, right? So this is kind of a fun idea. Uh, and this does not have to be, you don't have to have 
all die cuts or stickers or whatever from the same collection, right? You could be completely mixing and matching things from different collections, different, you know, manufacturers, different products, different lines, things like that. They don't have to be coming from the same collection. But in this case, I am just because it's easy. Well, actually, I'm not, right? I really am not. It's just that um, they happen. Ooh, that does not look good there, Lil. Um, maybe this needs to come in here a little bit more. Uh, what? No, yeah, that's bad. That's bad. But let's see if I try to trim it on the curve. So then it would curve against the flower. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, yeah. I'll see if I can't find something else to go right there. Um, oh, my gosh, you guys, where even was I? I don't even remember where I was. Oh, I know, because I am mixing. I'm definitely mixing collections, right? Um, because this is Vicky Storyteller, and these little guys are Pink Fresh. Um, these little guys are Pink Fresh uh, Days of Splendor. I pulled this guy out because actually, I mean, how perfect is this? You have that teal and then the yellow right above. So let's see. We might not even need this guy. Let's see if we can make this work. Oh, I kind of like that. Let's see. Maybe this little guy could come in here a little ways. Like really, really a lot of ways. Because um, well, we're just going to rip that off. Hopefully, we, uh, we don't want it to be full anymore. All right. That works. Yay! Okay, then I think this little guy, although it's not really yellow, kind of needs a little bit more something that's a little lighter, but I don't really have anything that's lighter. So we'll just fake it till we make it, right? It's close enough. We don't have to take it super literal. Let's have that be a little bit on our list. So I kind of like how a few of these pieces are on our list here. Uh, let's see, oh, this guy. I mean, this guy could probably work. I mean, that's pretty light. It's close enough, right? I was listening to music before this. Well, Nick just got home, my husband, uh, well, a little while ago from golfing. And so we, um, it's nighttime. We, uh, you, you'd think if you didn't know any better that all Nick does is golf. He does work, uh, but it's getting to be the time of year where golf is, uh, starting to wind down. So I think he's trying to get in as much as he can. At least that's what he tells me, right? Anyhow, so he came home and we decided, we, I ate dinner with him. And then, so it's definitely darker now than it was earlier. And that's when we rely on the studio lights. But, well, I always rely on the studio lights anyway in here because it just evens out the light. And hopefully you don't have as many shadows as we might otherwise. Um, Oh, yes. Okay, what do you guys think? I like it. I like the way that's turned out. I feel like I need maybe a little bit more. Well, let's do this. Let's turn this over. Let's come in and, oh, that totally reminds me, you guys. Totally forgot. Um, after we finished, there are a couple more things that I added. There was something that was really, well, first of all, I cut off part of one of those little tags and put it right there. And I think I added another little flower right there just to kind of add a little bit more. But then it was really bothering me. Remember over here when I tried to pick up the thing, the library card to move it up and it wouldn't work? Well, it just seemed like there was so much white space, kind of blank space up there, and it was bothering me. So I took um, the really large butterfly and added it right up there. But here's a little trick. I wanted it to kind of bleed off of this page onto this page, but I didn't want it to, the, the single piece to span the page because when you turn the page, then it gets all mucked up in there. So my trick for that is basically, I just cut right there and adhered that little piece to the other side of the page. So kind of makes movement. We're kind of movement on the page is kind of going like that. Um, so that is how that little guy ended up. Now I'm over here. The reason I turned to this page was so I could cut off these little guys that I want to bleed off the edge, bleed off the side. Um, the type A in me just can't have those guys bleeding off to the side, especially because, um, you know, they'll eventually get all mucked up and they'll, um, start, uh, not wilting. They're flowers, but, uh, not wilting, but what is, um, getting all crumpled and maybe, yeah. 
Okay, so that doesn't work so much right there. Let's come back in here, and I think we need to cut a little bit more of this off because I don't want that green there now. All right, there we go. That works. Okay, kind of fun. Um, the only thing is that little guy just seems to be out there hanging out on its own. It's too much. And I'm sure when I set that up originally, maybe I was planning on doing something like that. There we go. Okay, so then we have this side. So it's interesting. Um, I picked this photo because I loved all of the, um, all the color that was going along this edge and then the blue, the beautiful blue in the sky and then it's reflecting a little bit on the road. So the road almost looks blue. But what's interesting is they basically have the same look going on, right? They both have this left-hand side going on. Now, if I had thought about it, I might have thought about having this guy here and this guy over here because then it would have like framed itself, but that's okay. I'm not going to redo all this. Uh, so that works. It's good. I like it. I like it. So now I will do journaling here, but over here I pulled back out. So a couple weeks ago, we um, used Carrie Bradford's Autumn Printable. And that's what I have in these two little guys right here. So I thought I would pull some of these out and just see what we can kind of maybe work in. Autumn days, ooh, file under autumn, uh, feels like home to me. This is worth everything, mm, probably not. Mother Nature, brought to you by Mother Nature. Oh, look at that, brought to you by Mother Nature. Putting on a colorful show in admiration of the little things. But see, I really like over here, I like kind of the bold of that. So I. I think that needs to be there. I think it really needs something bold right there. So this guy is out. I will not use this guy because I don't want to use, you know, two of those. So we'll use that for something else. Now, probably what I need over here somewhere, I think I need some kind of little title. Uh, let's see. So we know no tags. The tags are not going to work for what I'm doing. We need a little title like this. Um, fall is here. Isn't it grand? Oh, Maybe that one. So it could either go right there or it could go up here. Fall is here, isn't it grand? Uh, so this is what I'm going to need to do. In order to use this, actually let's come back and let's go ahead and put these guys down. I am not using any washi on here because I have so much going on already. I really want this other page to be really fairly clean because um, there's so much color happening on the other side. So we'll put this right there. And we'll come in with this right there. All right, uh, I think this needs to be centered. So I didn't press down too hard when I laid that. Let's see. Uh, okay, now it's too low. D -d -d. So let's try one, two, three lines up. Let's see if we move it up one more line, if that will do it. One, two, three lines up. Well, it can't quite be three lines up because then it's too... It's probably really close to where I had it before, huh? Oh no. Oh, that's why. Duh, Lil. Okay, you guys, just bear with me. I don't know what I wanna do. I do something and I like it and then I go to actually put it down and then completely forget what I had done, clearly. I like this to go right there. Um, so when you are composing a photo, and that's what I did here, when I composed this photo, um, we were going through kind of going down kind of a windy canyon. We had driven up, 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 and now we're going down, 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 down. And I always, when we're doing something like this, just purely sightseeing with no agenda or anything, um, I make Nick, because he drives, I make him stop the car all the time. Partly because of the view looking down, right? The view looking down from here was, um, where is that? Because I really want to show you. Oh, here it is, now I remember. The view, so as I was standing here, look, as I was standing here looking down, this was the view, okay? So that view was gorgeous, right? But you should always, 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 always when you're taking a photo, turn around because what you have behind you sometimes is just as big, 
is just as magnificent and sometimes more magnificent than what you have before you. Now, I love both of these equally, but I love, I was so glad that when I was taking the photo here that I turned around because I loved that. And the composition of having um, the sky up above and I partially cut off the road because we have that motion. We know something's happening. We have the motion going this way. Um, but the other thing that I did, I um, after I took a couple different shots of this, I thought, ooh, this spot right here in the road, that is prime space for adding something when I'm doing my memory keeping, whether it's um, writing on there with my photo signature pen or um, or something like that. So I'm glad that I did that, had that space. All right, uh, one other thing I thought maybe about putting over here, we'll see. Uh, it was one of these little critters from uh, Cozy Days. So let's see. Oh. You know what? Actually, this little critter, I think, maybe. What if that little critter goes right there? I like that. It's just kind of subtle. Um, I liked it over here, too, but it was a lot kind of bolder right over here. So I like that. All right. Now, you, you can tell I'm convincing myself. I like that. Yes, I like that. I like that. I'm not going to change it. I like it to keep convincing myself of that sometimes, right? All right, I'm going to come in and outline this little piece. I know that same, may seem like overkill, but the reason I'm doing that is because it is going down on a white background. And because it's going on a white background, I feel like I need to define it. It needs to have an edge to it, right? So let's go ahead and put that back down here. Fall is here, isn't it grand? But this might have to be here now. I don't know, I feel like that is just too, too. So here's the thing, I can't necessarily start journaling because if I start journaling right now, um, we know what my problem is going to be. I'm gonna be like journal and go, oh shoot, I wish I had put it down here. Hmm, you know what? I kind of need to put it up here because I am going to need to date this. I think I'll write the date right in there. So by default, it's going up top. It is going up top. It's not going to have a choice in the matter. It, it's really me, right? I'm not going to have a choice in the matter after I commit and I have committed. It's there. Okay, so what I thought, I pulled out uh, some of Vicki's Storyteller stickers because I liked um, these hearts. So these hearts are kind of like little skimwampus hearts. They're not quite, um, you know, they're a little skimwampus. That's what I mean, that's skimwampus. So I like, I think skimwampus is going to go right there. That's our friend skimwampus, all right? Okay, and I think I just need one. I don't think I need another one. Uh, da, da, da. Just looking to see what else might be on here, but I think this guy's going to be pretty simple. I think this layout, but I mean, it's really not simple because it's got a ton going on over here, but the rest of it is uh, kind of simple. So um, now I have to think. Now I have to think about what I'm going to write. Here's the thing, guys. Um, I think that, well, hold on. Let's do this. Let's do our outlining. And then I am not going to write, do my journaling right now. Because that will be like watching paint dry. You guys don't need to watch me figure out what in the world I'm going to say. Whoops, not quite even there, but that's okay. Um, so that is something that I will finish up while I am out of town. And I will share how this turns out when I return. Um, well, when I return, not when I return, but when we are back together again. I love the way that's looking so far. Kind of fun, huh? Totally different than something I would normally do. Really dark colors, but the darker colors, um, they work because, well, they work. They work. Obviously, they work. Vicki designed it that way. She knows what she's doing. But they work for me, for my personal style, because 
um, it is, the colors are a little bit brighter than um, they might be otherwise. So, um, yes, yes, very happy. Okay, friends, I am going to turn, flip the camera. That was a quick one, right? But I also had, um, I also had kind of already figured out what I wanted to do in my head ahead of time. And that sometimes really helps us. So I didn't here have to do as much of the kind of going back and forth, figuring out uh, what I wanted to do. Um, just because in the interest of time, I wanted to make sure that I, um, well, that I had time to pack. I still have a lot to do this evening and my flight leaves early, early, early a.m. So let's see here. I need to unplug. Hopefully I won't lose all the power after I do that. And I'm going to flip. Now, oh, yes, okay, this is funny. I have my phone turned a different way than I normally do. Normally, when I flip, I can see. So hold on, I need to, I need to come around to the other side to make sure that like my head isn't cut off or something as I'm speaking. Oh, okay, good, one of my drawers is open, one of my doors. All right, friends, um, let's just close, let's just close that so we're not distracted by the mess behind there. Okay, friends, so there we have our memory keeping. We just did uh, two memory keeping spreads. And as you notice, for me, at least for me, when I do me, we always talk about you do you, and that's so important. You, you do what works for you. Um, if this is too colorful for you, if this has too many things going on, if it's too plain, if it's too bland and you want more color, um, whatever it is, you do you. But I think as we're starting to see as um, the videos start to evolve, I am starting to cross over like this in between the listing and the memory keeping, right? So last week, my listing included photos. So it was a little bit of a list. Well, it's definitely a list with a little bit of memory keeping built in with the photo. Well, this week, it's all about the memory keeping, but the way that I did this side, that a lot of times is what how my lists look, right? So um, I think that makes a lot of sense. I didn't necessarily plan it that way, but kind of things work out that way. Okay, friends, so thank you for joining again another Saturday. Hope I don't have food in my teeth. I didn't check that after I ate dinner. Um, I did have onions though, so it's probably a really good thing that we're not in person because I'm sure that you would be able to tell I had onions for dinner. Um, oh gosh scatter has to come out at some point and it just did not planned they just happen you guys you know that they just happen um anyhow so um thank you for joining me this week totally different um with the premiere like i said i hopefully i've been able to chat with you guys a little bit um in the live chat that goes on otherwise stay tuned for next saturday which would be october 31st yay so um, I will, as you know, ahead of time, I always send out the listing topics. And so um, for next Saturday, the 31st, I will probably maybe, maybe we'll see, provide some alternate topics because I already know at least the one that I want to do that's Halloween related. Um, and then we'll see from there. All right, my friends, thank you so much. Have a great rest of the week. Have a great rest of your weekend. Um, for me, it's the rest of the week because it's Wednesday. Um, have a great rest of your weekend and please, please, please stay safe. Um, yeah, that's it. And normally I do this and I turn off the video. However, the phone is flipped, so I will go around the back side and turn off the video. Okay, where's the X? Oh, that's funny. Oh, duh. There's no X. <laughs> There's a big red button. Oh, heavens, you guys, I'm tired. All right, friends. Uh, ciao for now. Bye-bye.